Good morning, folks. Today we've got a number of articles to hit. We've got a very special video coming later tonight on the ongoing magnetic disaster, and we are starting here with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun were very quiet. We've got the southern coronal hole turning in, but we've got very little in the way of solar wind enhancements. We are seeing a tiny rise on the X-ray flux due to the appearance of these southern active regions we mentioned yesterday. They are still cresting over the limb into view at the bright spot bottom left. Since the U.S. West Coast quakes have quieted down a bit, let's go right to the article starting with our star again, and this time it's a way to spot the electric currents in the photosphere. We have seen a number of papers theorize this needed shift in the solar physics paradigm, but before they study them, they've got to be able to spot them. Up next, a quick note from citizen scientists who took a grueling look at WISE data and found that a star's brightness was hiding a little guy nearby. It's 10 to 20 times the size of Jupiter. It's either a binary dwarf or a super-wide orbiting super-Jupiter. Up next, we're talking cosmic ray transport through the heliosphere and into the inner solar system, through the Earth's magnetic and radiation environment, and into the atmosphere. Turns out, their models are not so good. In fact, unlike many other fields where a keen observer can notice them trying to make new data fit into their old dying paradigms, here they just say, no, the theory and observations are irreconcilable. Back to the chalkboard. To close, we've got three stellar outburst papers. First, it's a look at anomalous variable stars. These ones have outbursts at subnova levels, but do so on hours up to months scale. Interestingly and not surprisingly, they found all of the anomalies within the thin galactic disk. Wonder if there's anything inside of that disk that could instigate these anomalies. Up next, they broke another record for the NOVA events. The scales for brightness and luminosity keep getting pushed, both upward and downward. Here it's up. And last but not least, they found a recurring NOVA star that has a variable recurrence time and a variable face to its outbursts. When they suggest a wider range of progenitor environments and trigger mechanisms, one hopes a veteran observer would remember where they heard something like that before. Folks, come back this afternoon. Very special video detailing two scary marks we can track in Earth's geomagnetic shift. See you about 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. And before that, website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Your weekly fly-on-the-wall podcast comes in a couple hours, too. Busy day for observers. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got those old-school wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.